This is a photo of Clinton, the greatest tobacconist to ever live. Here we see Clinton, looking at the most recent comments on his YouTube short, when he noticed, one, in particular. Padron 64 didn't make the list, that is pretty much half a chocolate bar. Credibility of this list is questionable. In that moment, he knew, he must regain his credibility. He quickly put on his blazer, because, he meant business, and because he thought it would look better in the video. Wow. He's cool. Here's a montage of him making coffee, he did this because he watched a YouTube video online that said it would keep your attention longer. He also did that because he wanted to show off his expensive ember mug, his friends bought him. He was a man on a mission. A mission to give his fans what they wanted. He was going to be the final judge of whether or not the Padron 1964 Maduro was really like half a chocolate bar. In a daring defiance of the law, he soared through the labyrinthine chaos of traffic, his heart unburdened by any trace of fear or caution. He bore an unwavering determination, for he held within him a burning desire to establish himself as the epitome of credibility, the unparalleled maestro of the tobacco trade, past, present, and future. He arrived at the closed cigar shop, seized by an unwavering purpose. Pulling open the door, he prepared to deliver his verdict on the Padron 1964 Maduro. A review that would transcend time. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Or maybe only one viewer that I'm not sure if he subscribed or not. But John, if you didn't subscribe, this is your moment. Mr. John Cruz, today I'll be reviewing the Padron 1964 Maduro. I'll be the judge of whether or not this actually tastes like half a chocolate bar. I've already smoked it. But we'll see. Is this cigar really worth the hype to where my credibility is questionable? Oh, John, we will see. This cigar has been the number one cigar in many cigar journals. But what are my thoughts? And does it really taste like half a chocolate bar? I'll let you know shortly. Moment of truth, let's light it up. Okay, right off the bat, I'm getting black pepper and a hint of red pepper. I'm getting earth and a subtle chocolate right now. But we'll see if that chocolate develops or not. Okay, I've gotten through the first third. The burn has been immaculate, which is expected from a Padron. If you've ever smoked a Padron, you know that you're going to get a perfect burn. Draw, absolutely perfect. But what are you gonna taste out of this? On light up through the entire first third, you're getting a blast of pepper, that back of the throat type of irritation. You're getting some earth on the palate with a milk chocolate on the palate. Kind of like half a chocolate bar. On the retro hill, you're getting chocolate with a subtle leather. Absolutely delicious cigar. Will this flavor profile continue or will it change? We will see in the second third. We've gotten through the second third. What's changed? Nothing. The black pepper is still intense. It's about a six or a seven of black pepper. That chocolate, still on main stage. Milk chocolate, like a Hershey's Kiss. The earth, still present. Nothing has changed about this cigar. If anything, the flavor profile has gotten richer, and that's about it. It's consistently held about an inch worth of ash before falling off. The questions to ask are, will this flavor stay consistent or will it fall away in the last third and what will my final rating be? But before we come to the final conclusion I believe one more montage would be in order. He really wants you to watch this entire video. Oh man this guy is the coolest. I implore you, gaze upon him and witness the sheer grandeur of his sophistication, elegance, and refinement. It stands unmatched, 
far surpassing all others. Okay guys, sorry to say this, but we've reached the end of the last third. And what you're gonna taste out of this last third is black pepper, a black coffee, and some spice introduced itself. The chocolate is playing in the far background. On the retro hill, you're gonna be getting that black coffee and a subtle earthiness to it. In conclusion, my final score came out to a 92. The wrapper was a little bit dull, the ash was a little bit too soft for my liking, and the strength was a little stronger than what I would have hoped for. But that's just me. Tell me what you think about this cigar in the comments. And shout out to you, John. If you watched this video, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I got to redeem my credibility as a tobacconist. If you enjoyed this video, YouTube is gonna recommend another one at the end of this, so click on it, please. And subscribe, and like the video, and do all of the things that YouTube likes you to do. And if you have a recommendation of a cigar that you want me to review, leave it in the comments section. Bye, everybody. In the realm of tobacco, a titan has emerged, a tobacconist of unparalleled prowess. His quest, to reclaim his lost honor, has culminated in the review of the legendary Padron 1964 Maduro. With this feat accomplished, we eagerly await the unveiling of his next adventure. Until then, his legacy echoes on.